After a corporate layoff in 2001, Jen Lancaster started a blog sharing her unemployment frustrations. Her honesty and quick wit earned her a massive following. Well, now 14 years later, Lancaster is a New York Times bestselling author of Count Them, eight memoirs and four novels. Fans have bought more than one million books. Her new novel, The Best of Enemies, deals with female friendships and rivalries. Jen Lancaster, good morning. Good morning. So tell us about this book. This is a fun book. It's about two women who absolutely despise each other, but keep getting put together in each other's lives. And why are they the, why are they the best of enemies? They had been friends 20 years ago, and a series of events happened. They, dis they started to despise each other, and because of a mutual best friend, they can't get away from each other. I love that you said some of the inspiration was social media. People who have these Pinterest perfect lives <laughs> became the source for you to write about. What do you see happening in culture that you sort of mirror in the books? I see these women, especially women in their 30s, who are working so hard to cultivate these Pinterest perfect lives that I think they're not actually living their lives. This actually happened to me a few years ago. I was working on this book called The Tao of Martha. I was trying to live my life by Martha Stewart's, um, by her dictates for a year. And I was working <laughs> so hard to make my life look perfect that that things were starting to fall through the, tra uh, through the cracks. And I think when you try to art direct your life, you're not actually living. So I began to think about that and I thought, what if I had a character who was trying to make her life seem so perfect that she was just using that to cover up what wasn't? And I took that character and I went with it and I thought, who would be the polar opposite of that? Who would be the polar opposite of a mommy blogger who was trying to display everything? And I thought, oh, a foreign war correspondent. So that is her nemesis. Who are you writing for? I write, well, I write for myself. I write to crack myself up. The fact that anybody else <laughs> likes it is just a bonus. Yeah. I think there's something in your story, just the notion that you went from being laid off to a whole new career that so many people can really connect with. What did you learn in that journey, and what's your advice for other people who think, I would love to write a book, I just don't know how? Draw from your own experience. When I started writing, I, I didn't set out to be a writer. I was just an angry person. I had gone from being, <laughs> honestly, that's what it was. I was an executive, and I had been laid off right after the dot-com era. Because I had come up in the dot-com era, I thought I was really, really special. Because people were just handing out paychecks and VP titles. This was, this was um, the like 2000, 2001, so when I was laid off, I thought a great job was just around the corner from me. So when I marched into the unemployment office with my Prada bag, I thought a new job was just around the corner from me, and it turns out that it wasn't. So when I started to, to um, write about my frustrations on the internet, it turned out I was just an angry person with a lot to say. But there were a lot of other angry people with a lot to say out there. That became my first book, which was Bitter is the New Black. So I was writing what I knew, and it just so happened that a lot of people were going through that same exact thing. Do you start with character or with story? When I write novels, I start with characters, because they're the ones who tell me what the stories are. When I, when I write memoirs, I just go straight chronological with whatever it um, that line from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, who's bothering you today, Jeannie? <laughs> so. Thank you. Great, Great to, to have you here. Jen <laughs> thank Lancaster, you. thank you. To the best of enemies. Thank you. It is on sale now, and Jen is heading over to answer your questions right now on our Facebook page. That's at facebook.com slash CBS This Morning.